If you've ever browsed YouTube, you have definitely come across one of these videos. The desk setup tours, how I set up my productivity desk, my battle station, my gamer's desk, my productivity setup, etc, etc. And those videos are great. The desks are so awesome to look at, the videos are just overall nice to watch, and the aesthetics are just amazing. My thing is, you're watching the video and you're like, great, I want my desk exactly like this. So you start scrolling down, you give it a thumbs up, you start scrolling down and you look at the description. You click on the link and then you see it. A chair for $2,000. Ain't no way I'm spending $2,000 on a chair. And let's be honest, if you're a normal person watching this, I don't think you're gonna spend $2,000 on a chair either. So this video is about how I took inspiration from those YouTubers and kind of made my own little affordable, and let's be real, as cheap as possible, cool little desk setup. So let's go ahead and get started. So obviously we're gonna start off this desk tour with the desk itself. I bought this desk on Amazon for about 130 bucks at the end of 2020. I just needed a better desk and upgraded from the desk I had previously. Here's a picture of the desk I had previously. It was still a pretty decent setup in my opinion, but this one is a lot nicer. It's a great L desk. What I like about L desks the most is that you can kind of put them in a the corner and they don't take up a lot of space. Plus, you can kind of swivel from desk to desk and you kind of feel like the guy on the computer. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all ever seen the Spider-Man movies? The guy in the chair. Yeah. Next up, we have the monitor. So I have a 2016 13 inch MacBook Pro that I connected to a couple of monitors. I have them connected with this HP docking station, which, fine, to be fair, I got for free from my job. I looked it up and online it's like 200 bucks, which is a little pricey, yeah, um, so fine. But these monitors were $125 each. And I used to have just have one monitor, which was fine, really, but I'm a little extra and I was like, wouldn't three monitors be cool? So if you decide to go with a dual monitor, I would recommend the dual monitor stand, which is about 40 to 50 bucks, depending on where you buy it. Uh, there are more expensive ones that are a little bit fancier, but for our basic needs, 40 to $50 on a dual monitor stand should be fine. The one I'm linking in the description is not the exact same one that I'm using here right now. Unfortunately, I don't remember where I bought this because I bought this sometime early last year. Um, the dual monitor stand is great, not only because it holds up your monitors, but also because it allows for really nice cable management. I think when you're setting up your desk, cable management is something that people just tend to ignore, but I personally think that cable management is, if not, probably one of the most important things that you have to pay attention to when setting up your desk. I feel like cable management either makes or breaks your desk setup. Like I've seen some of these YouTubers and they have amazing desk setups, you know, all nice and everything. Spend thousands and thousands, stacks on stacks on stacks of money on their desk setup, but then they zoom out and you look and you see all those cables on the floor just whoosh, and it kind of ruins the entire aesthetic. It may also be because I'm a little bit of a neat freak and a little bit OCD about things looking good, but I can show you exactly how I did my cable management if you want a cheap, alternative, affordable way to go ahead and do it. I did it all with zip ties and command strips slash hooks. It's annoying to manage your cables, yes, and no one ever sees this and no one ever gets to appreciate the beauty that's underneath the desk, but I promise you in the end, it will be worth it because it'll all be nice and neat and organized. This strip light is also something that adds really nice aesthetics to your desk. People tend to think that strip lights are expensive as hell, but I guarantee you they're not and that I wouldn't have bought one. But I found this bad boy at Walmart for $10 and this is the exact same one that I have on my desk right now. It's controlled by this little remote. I think they also have an app for it. Like I said, all for $10 and you can change the color on it. Uh, so that's like a blue color. It might look a little different on the camera, but let's see, red. Yeah, there you go. And now it's red. All for $10, like that's unbelievable. That's kind of crazy. 
So continuing on with my desk setup, I also have this Bluetooth speaker right here that I use to play my music when I want to play it out loud. Uh, this is just, like I said, a Bluetooth speaker. I think it's called the Mega Boom 3. It connects to my phone pretty easily or my laptop. So whenever I'm in the mood for music, I just play it on this. Uh, the best part is you can buy another one of these and you can have them playing music at the same time. I think you can connect, I don't know how many you can connect, but you can definitely connect a lot. Like, I know it's more than 10. How many do you think there are? Ten. Cool. Overall guys, this is the desk setup that works for me. As you can see, it's very colorful and allows me to be uh, very creative. I like my desk a lot. Not everyone may like their desk like this. Uh, everyone has different needs and ways to be more productive and stuff like that, of course. Everyone has different environments that they thrive in, right? Like, um, apart from all the electronics I have, I'm also gonna bring in a couple of plants that I'll soon look into later, like maybe a couple for like my desk itself and then one next to my desk, like a big one. You know, you gotta add a little green here and there and stuff like that, you know, uh, whatnot. But anyways, that brings me to the end of this video. Um, if you guys made it this far, I really appreciate you guys watching it. A like and a subscribe would mean so much to me. Uh, leave comments in the description below on how you guys set up your desks. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.